Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Yeah, yeah. But I get copyrighted because that's not even a song. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, today is going to be the final day. So let me say for the uh, final season. Previously on every time. Seriously. Oh god. So, this episode, if you can see what time it is, it says 10.50 a.m. We decided to get up early to do this episode, so make sure that, like, nothing happens filming this last episode. It is vitally important. So I just woke up, and I'm... I'm not up to the task, to be honest. Is very sweet. Guess that's not so bad. You piece of crap, Facebook. <laughs> Facebook just promoted itself. Anyone that knows that notification sound, it just did a free uh, promotion. Oh my gosh. And then, like I said, um, if you guys remember, I said I typically eat around 12, 3, and 5. Those are usually my times that I eat around. And right now I'm eating at 10.50, so it's, uh, it's different. And this tastes very sugary, and after doing the keto, vegan keto, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of the sweetest products. Okay. Today is the last day. Now I was debating whether or not, you know, I drink this and then I start filming it and then I upload it and then I actually eat in the night. Cause what if I upload it at 10 p.m.? Cause yesterday I uploaded it. You know what? I don't even know if I uploaded it early. I usually want to upload it early, and I say early meaning nighttime which should be at the end of the day, unless you got graveyard shift, then that's the start of your day. Mm. Sorry. Today's chakra is the crown chakra. It deals with pure cosmic energy and is blocked by earthly attachments. So that's something you can think about. Earthly attachments. Ah. <sighs> I'm actually just, I'm actually tired. So when I go out there and meditate, uh, what I might do is speed it up a little bit because I might fall asleep or something while I'm meditating. And then get ready to film the last part of the video like during the night and stuff. Maybe, just maybe, I might go outside and there might be a full moon. It's, it shows on my calendar that there's gonna be a full moon and if we're lucky, we can go outside, and if it's a clear sky, we can see that beautiful moon, and I could howl at it. I could howl at it and maybe turn into a werewolf and just run around in the backyard, not, not like eat anybody or anything. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. To me, this tastes like sweet and low sugar. If anybody's tasted those little pink packets, you see when you go to Denny's or any of those other places, you might see sweet and low, you might see Splenda. Ugh, this tastes bad. But this is very healthy. There is so much health in this. And I think this is the only reason why like, I'm not feeling like all lethargic and weak. Cause I'm, bare I'm eating obviously under my calorie, uh, Def I'm eating uh, obviously under a calorie deficit like this is probably all gonna be like I don't know maybe a hundred calories maybe probably less <sighs> I'm not gonna rush it because if I vomit this out I don't know if I want to count that 
I don't know if I should count that. Okay, we almost done. <sighs> yeah, this is way worse than the chocolate banana I ate. Way, 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 way worse. Oh my gosh, a frozen cold banana, a soggy cold banana is almost better than drinking this. Miss <sighs> Pineapple actually tried some. She said it was good. See, she's hella cool because she's, she's down to do stuff like that. She's such an awesome, awesome person. You guys could always give her a like on her comment, shout her up because how awesome she is. Great supporter of the channel, great supporter of me. Honestly, I don't think I can get through this without her. Ugh. A little bit more. All right. I didn't finish it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go outside. We're going to do a yoga pose, meditational pose. And that's going to end our stuff for outside. Thank you guys for supporting. And remember that there's still one more part of this video. But I just want to say thank you again for following along. And this very great 7 chakra onion banana juice fast journey. Alright. <laughs>
and when I did this I felt really you know I did the right thing but I felt really hurt by it and to uh, deal with this I guess I meditated I remember the exact things I ate cheese sticks crackers and um, and water and grapefruits so that's the things I would eat and I wouldn't eat that much either and I end up losing like I don't know how much weight I lost but I used to be a real husky boy and then I had lost the weight and I got the skinniest I'd ever been my hair was really long my um I stopped going outside and stopped getting like sunlight and so my skin color turned into like a very very light like kind of like a golden baked type of color like color of cookies and um you know people I had trouble recognizing me because I looked so different and also I picked up an accent which is uh, my friend didn't have an accent but we talked kind of like how they do in a Shakespeare and then I incorporated that and so a bunch of different changes happened but I became clairvoyant I was able to see cosmic energy with my eyes closed I cannot see it while it's open and um, the clairvoyance thing is like where you just know what to say you um you just kind of you know where things are you just kind of know things that you don't exactly know where you learned it from it's kind of like you just have this infinite knowledge in your head and i'm not sure when i lost that but now what i understand about chakras is that i went through this journey to unlock all my chakras and there's a point where you become like enlightened you become you know very spiritual but avatar avatar quotes here life is messy and so things may happen where one of my chakras can become blocked like let's say a loved one dies and then all of a sudden my um, heart chakra is blocked because i'm grieving that so these things you will have to keep going over you can't just go through once and you're going to be perfect the entire time there's you got to keep you got to keep you got to debug yourself like you're a computer you got to refresh you got to constantly check your status and stuff because things are going to come up and even if you're in your most enlightened path you're still going to come across life and it still has its stuff you know you don't have to be you don't have to react to everything emotionally but you know some things may get to you because that's you and that's your spirit so um the earthly attachments you know the things that i find myself attached to i got technology i got my miss pineapple i got jack i got my own body and stuff like that and all these things i'm very attached to and i very i very, like love very much you know technology bleh, but you know miss pineapple jack my body myself you know and you when you want to open this chakra you gotta kind of let everything go and just think like you know if all these things are taken away from me i'm still going to be me and even if i lose this body i'm not this body i am not this mind even though i love this mind and i love this body that's not me you're a spirit your ether your energy and so this part of the uh chakras is kind of like the deep part that you know people are just going to turn away not think about and stuff but it frees you because you are controlled pretty much by you know your technology and then your loved one you're not necessarily controlled by them but you're attached to them and then so your whole life is like oh i need to keep them safe oh i need to feed them oh i got to provide for them and so that's what's keeping you rooted and the root chakra is like the whole complete opposite of the crown chakra. The root chakra keeps you rooted in the earth. You're trying to survive. You have fears about survival. While the crown chakra wants to take away all those earthly attachments to unroot you and basically get you to go to your highest self. That's what's going to reach you there. So as of right now, you know, I'm already at my highest self. I love my pineapple. I love my son, Jack. And um, I really enjoy making YouTube videos. And this one was really fun, really great experience. Onion banana juice is absolutely terrible. I don't want to have any more of that. But yeah, as the last of it, it was pretty okay. And I'm just, just so, 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 so happy. So this is going to wrap up this series. If you guys have been watching all of the playlists or you're just watching this one now, uh, well, the videos now it's in a playlist so if you want to go back and watch it you can so that's going to end this video for the crown chakra you know 
things are going to happen. Your chakras are going to get blocked. Just remember what I said in each video for each chakra and stuff and just apply those things to your life and you know just think about what types of things that you're going through and just learn how to you know get past those things so all right guys i'll see you later remember smash subscribe smash like and i'll see you guys later